for the Genshin Impact drama. Apparently, there's a new update uh, from this leaker or something. So let's have a look at this. I just saw this uh, earlier. I don't know what 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 is going to be about. I don't blame Genshin Impact CN server players being angry with Hoyoverse after reading Cro Croy X's explanation. So Croy X is apparently a data miner, a leaker. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oof, essay guys, essay. All right, we will we will debunk this essay. We'll try to understand what is happening. Okay, so let's see. Baby Monster Team leaks. Okay, guys, this is very dangerous stuff. We're talking about leaks here. First of all, thank you very much to Croyx for giving me this information. If you don't know, Croyx is a very big and incredible leaker. Very respectable leaker. Everyone respects him. Leakers. <laughs> are the most respect respectable human beings ever. I recommend following him. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Explanation in English. The catalyst for the incident was a statement made during a recent Genshin Impact live stream. So basically, uh, if you guys are not aware, right, this, is happen this has happened over the course of two days now, uh, but some of you guys might not be in the loop. Genshin Impact had a huge drama recently. Uh, a number of their players unfollowed them from the CN uh, Weibo account. Is it Weibo, Bilibili, and a few other social media accounts? Total of 1 million or 2 million followers lost now uh, because of the recent backlash from the lack of rewards in the upcoming Chinese New Year Genshin Impact uh, anniversary so-called thing, right? So yeah, uh, that, that's what the fiasco is going on around. Thank you, travelers, for your year of companionship. Here are three fates which spark collective criticism from Chinese players. So all they are getting is three fates, aka three pulls. All right, imagine you play a gacha game, you spend so much money, and then the anniversary, all you get is a three pulls, three, three miserable pulls. What you gonna get? And Gan Shin is a zero point six percent rate. Is it zero point six, zero point seven percent? The rate is 0.7%, let's say 0.7% per character. Three pulls. What you gonna get? Huh? <laughs> Alright, so this has sparked a lot of controversy. <laughs> Three pulls, but maybe a 6%. It's not even 6%. Okay, other contributing factors includes there's a significant uh, overlap between the player bases of Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail in China. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. So overlap they are able to see how come Honkai Star Rail is more generous but Genshin Impact is not generous. So basically there's an overlap, uh, same players are playing both games, right? Makes a lot of sense. Honkai Star Rail often gives out generous version rewards, including a 5-star character Dr. Ratio, which makes Genshin Impact seems less generous in comparison. I agree, I agree. This has made a lot of controversy as well. Before the live stream, Many players believe rumors spread by marketing accounts, probably referring to fake leakers or reposters, about a free 4-star skin selector. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, the rumor! This is why you never spread rumors, guys. Because I've been saying it for years. Stop spreading rumors. It's because these people are spreading rumors that there's oh guys guys later ooh, later ooh there's a free four star skin anniversary selector during the anniversary and then you hype people up and then they go to the anniversary and then wait where's the where's the free four star skin selector where is it hmm liar and then they blame the company they didn't blame the rumor spreader they blame the company damn this is why rumors can be bad all right a lot of rumors have killed games before. Rumors are dangerous. So these accounts tend to exaggerate the original posts. We only mentioned 4 star skin selector, but the acquisition conditions were unknown. All right. 4 star skin selector sounds pretty good. Sounds like a pretty good proposition, right? <laughs> Even with rumors, 3 pulls still shitty reward. Uh, okay, so let's see what other things. The 4 star skin selector was linked to purchasing a PlayStation 5 expensive version. 
Wait, what? So the 4-star skin selector was linked to purchasing a PS5. So if you buy a PS5, you will be able to get the 4-star skin selector. But why do you need to buy a PS5 if you can join my Discord giveaway to get a free PS5 from Sleepy Hill? Alright, that's where you want to be. Alright, if you haven't joined your Discord, there's always a giveaway going on. Sleepy Hill is always doing it. Free PS5. Okay? So however, the Chinese PlayStation Store offers very few games. Okay? And some PS5 players typically switch their accounts to the Hong Kong region. Okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. Additionally, buying a PS5 just to play Genshin Impact is seen as a foolish decision. It is. It is. Like, most players probably play on phone or iPad or whatever they have. And then if you buy a PS5 just to play one game Genshin, which you're already playing on your phone or, or your PC, right? It wouldn't make sense. Unless you have other PS5 games that you want to play. Like God of War or whatever, right? But again, I'm not sure if those are even famous in, in China. Uh, again, right? It wouldn't make sense to buy a console just for one game, typically. Okay, so number four. The reward for player return is 500 Primal Gems, but the so-called Year of Companionship only offers 480 Primal Gems. This led players to feel that the developers do not value their players. The developers do not value the players. Okay? Currently, only the official Douyin account is losing followers. There's no apparent loss of followers on Bilibili yet, possibly due to paid followers. Oh! And today's Kirara GIF is 10x useless. 10x. 10x in Gen. So all of these have led up to a lot of drama, alright? And you can see, Honkai Star Rail. 10 pulls. 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 10 pulls, free doctor ratio. So of course, players are not happy, alright? Why Honkai Star Rail got so much? But here, in Gen, 10x. 10x. <laughs> you're, you're killing Gen to make room for ZZZ? I don't think they are killing Gen. Why would they kill their own game? <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I can see the perspective for sure. Players are mad. For sure, for sure. The fact that this isn't a meme is depressing for Genshin. The most depressing of all of this is visiting their sub to see the show. And read stuff like the classic, you should be grateful you get 3 rolls on top of all of the content and usual rewards. The 4 star selector is proof that this is the most generous game ever. Or the one game is losing players, the other keeps winning. Genshin players needs to be studied for marketing research. Hoyover's genuinely made the perfect consumer. Gave them as little as you can, while still, they gave them millions, and also royalty to the brand as well. Even help Hoyovers to kill off competitors too. Yeah, Genshin players are so loyal. It's one of the most loyal players ever. Like, you can make fun of them as much as you want, but Hoyovers have really, really loyal, uh, you know, fan base. And I, I do think this is, this is uh, a very interesting topic, right? Because... Their fanbase is so loyal to the point they keep complaining that I'm not sure if it's the same person complain, right? The person that complain are probably different, uh, complaining that the rewards are so little, but yet they still stay to the game, they still stick to the game, regardless, right? It's something that uh, fascinates uh, me, you know? Never argue with them. <laughs> loyal and stupid. I wouldn't call them stupid. You know, if they have fun, I'm not gonna judge them, right? But at the same time, I'm not sure if they are having fun, you know? Sometimes it sounds... Like, based on the people that whine on Twitter, it doesn't sound like they're having fun. But I'm not sure if those are the same category of group of players, right? It's hard to tell for sure. But yeah, uh, the fact that they can... Genshin is the only game that can give so little and get away with it. It's just insane. Like, any other gacha game would not be able to get away with that. But Genshin could. And it's very fascinating, right? To a certain, to a certain extent. It is because majority of Genshin players are normies, like women, children, dudes, usually Genshin is the only gacha game they play. Yeah, and that's also one factor. Uh, maybe because there's no competition yet. 
But yeah, I do I do hope for for some sort of competition coming out uh, to compete with Genshin. Uh, minor correction, billions, not millions, they made several billion US dollars. Billions of dollars from this game and yet they can't throw the players more than crumbs. It's silly, but the EN speaking Genshin face fan base are thoroughly conditioned to defend this BS. Even the Indonesian fan base genuinely mad AF, even saying things that Chai Ho Yu need to get out of the Genshin director. Damn. Can't blame them since Honkai Star and the Honkai Impactor producer is David Jiang. 300 crystals is like 81k. That's a lot of your average Indo that people can do with other things. Indonesians prefer not to spend a dime on games unless you are rich or is ML. What is ML? Mobile Legends? You just discovered an abusive relationship. Indeed, some people love a uh, abusive, abusive relationship. Wait for Tower of Fantasy 2. Tower of Fantasy 2. One person in an abusive relationship is one thing. This group is a lot of people in an abusive relationship. <laughs> Cults are a thing. They are called a cult. Genshin cult. It's something to do with Genshin being the first gacha game to really go mainstream. Uh, the gameplay and multi-platform release made it accessible to the... But I don't want to play a shitty mobile game crowd. You got yourself a live service game with anime characters that plays like a platformer or action RPG. And not like the usual mobile game turn based you only see your characters via cards and sprites. And for a lot of the new crowd, this gacha mechanic is a new thing for them. They don't know any better. They have never played any other gacha or experienced games. They are actually generous during their anniversary events. So to them, three pools and some mora is plenty. There's no basis of comparison nor do they want to make a basis of comparison because there's no other gacha like Genshin. I think that's true. What this guy is saying could be true, right? If you never play any other gacha before, how would you know that the anniversary is stingy, right? Because uh, like for me, I've played like Counter Side, I've played uh, Nikkei, Blue Archive, a lot of other games, so I can make the comparison. Like you guys probably can make the comparison. You can compare with like, you know, FGO, Epic 7, Tower of Fantasy, and stuff like that. So you can have a, a rough idea, okay, this is kind of stingy for an anniversary. But for them, they don't have the point of comparison. Unless they go social media, they will probably never know, never ever know if the game is considered stingy or a scam or whatever, right? So, but I guess some of them are starting to realize now because of Honkai Star Rail. So with, with some of the overlap, with Genshin and Honkai Star Rail players, they are playing the same game. So now they are starting to realize, ah, how come Honkai Star Rail is more generous? So now they are starting to realize that because they never play any other games aside from Gen Sin. Alright, but now they started playing Honkai Star Rail because same same developer, right? Hoyovers and stuff. So maybe Honkai Star Rail shouldn't have existed. Mm. Honkai Star Rail existed, made them realize. Mm. Mm. It has made them realize. Alright. It has made them realize that this is going to be something that make them uh suddenly uh, make the comparison and then be like, okay, why is one so much stingier than the others? Why does Genshin three years, is it two years, three years? There's no free five star, but Honkai Star has a free daughter ratio already, huh? Epic 7 gave you two Moonlight characters. They are too dumb to play other games? No, it's not that they are too dumb, they just never bothered, right? Because yeah, Genshin is definitely more mainstream. Most other games are probably not as mainstream. Because Genshin is also pretty safe, there's not much fan service, it's pretty censored, right? Like for example, like Nikkei will never be mainstream because Nikkei will always be only for adults. You can't tell an 8 year old kid to play uh, Nikkei, but 8 year old kid could probably play Genshin, right? I think Genshin is also family friendly. I know, I know some of you guys might make fun of this statement, but I think this is actually true because I've seen a couple of things, a couple of times before on the internet. Uh, when I go to Twitter, I've seen the dad play with the kid, Genshin. They play Genshin together. But there are some games. There are some games that you can play with your family. Genshin is one of those. You can't. You just can't play Nikkei with your family. You can't play Blue Archive with your family. But Genshin, you can. So it is a kind of a family game actually, if you think about it. It might sound weird, 
but I've definitely seen before. Some pictures of you know parents play with their with their son or their do daughter, right? Nikkei is rated 12 plus, which is lower than Blue Archive 16 plus. Many Gan players don't even realize they are playing a gacha game. To them, it's just some funny Chinese RPG. I'm not sure if they will consider it funny. Playing VA with your dad, Lamau. <laughs> Why not, man? Why not? But yeah, I think this is an interesting, uh, interesting conversation to have, right? To understand why. Because at the end of the day, with Honkai Star Rail being, uh, you know, in existence now, it does make a point of comparison for the Hoyo fan players because they are playing both games, so now they are able to realize themselves, which is always a good thing.